Right, I'm here with uh, Lib Dem prospective parliamentary candidate George Cunningham. Hi there. Uh, and today we're going to be talking about uh, Manston. Yeah, we're going to start with Manston and to say that uh, I've, um, I've, I'm really concerned about what's gone on. We're coming up to the 15th of May when it's supposed to be the uh, shutdown of the airport. And uh, Roger Gale has tried very hard to form a consortium and failed. But I'm happy to say that my teammate, Russ Timpson, who is the prospective parliamentary candidate for South Hallett and myself, we've been looking at alternative investors and we think that we've come up with somebody that's going to potentially invest or make it sufficiently viable for a consortium to perhaps keep the airport running. But time is running out at the moment and uh, we are working very hard to get this person on board. So. Uh, thanks to the Lib Dems, because the Lib Dems basically are, are for free trade and openness and investment. I've been using my contacts uh, basically and working through um, some ideas that I had from Brussels to, um, to find investors. We also put out actually information out on Chinese websites. Uh, of course, we don't have to travel to China to do that. We do it via the Trade and Economic Office of the Chinese Embassy in London. But we have put out information there on Manston. Uh, to see if there's any uh, interest in the Far East. Um, at the moment we're waiting, we haven't seen anything in that respect. Um, and also we have drafted a, a prospectus because we didn't seem to find any documentation to say, well, what's the benefits of uh, Manston to an investor? We didn't see that thing existing. So just because Russ and I just put something together from um, you know, public sources and then we've sent it out actually on the Chinese website. So we'll see if anything comes of it. But we do actually have one investor who's from the Gulf is interested and we're in correspondence with that person at the moment to sort things out. Okay, that sounds good. Do you think time time is against you? Do you think? Yes, because the person good. the person was sufficiently interested um, and already had said that he would come in mid June uh, to visit Manchester Airport to us. Um, but of course, we're hurrying things up now. We've sent uh, further information to the potential investor, and over and above the prospectus that we have prepared with more much more detail. Um, and probably next week we will see to what degree this person is in a hurry or not to come. It is actually quite important that Manston Airport does stay open uh, because uh, it has various certifications, various uh, safety standards there, which uh, run out in the course of several months. Um, so it's important that um, a buyer is found quickly because then it starts, you start incurring costs of having to get certification Certificates that run out means therefore means that I think, as far as I understand, it's more complex and more expensive to get the certi certificates. Rather than just renew them, you have to get them from scratch. That is the problem, basically. So we're in a rush to try and sort this out, but uh, it's up to the investor uh, how fast that person moves. How important do you think Manston is to the uh, to Thanet and the surrounding mm. area? It could be more important than it is. That's the honest truth. I think it's pretty run on a sort of pretty minimal basis. Um, my good friend Russ, uh, the South Thanet prospective parliamentary candidate for the Liberal Democrats, who is an expert in the field, uh, basically has um, considers that uh, air aircraft dismantling and recycling is uh, a large component of what may uh, be the use of Manston Airport. And uh, this is also, of course, uh, useful for the residents of uh, Ramsgate because if we are not dependent on passenger flights, you don't have the overnight flight problem, which has caused problems with, uh, I think, Ramsgate uh, public opinion. Um, so, and then, in fact, the investor that we have got interested in is precisely in that business and has business in the Middle East. So I think Russ was right in uh, highlighting this. Um, that doesn't mean that other things cannot be done at the airport. The airport will be, uh, as it is now, sort of multifunctional. Russ Timpson, I'm the uh, prospective parliamentary candidate for the Thanks South for the Liberal Democrats, and I've been a part of politics there. What I, what I have done in my career is I've worked for BAA, so I've worked at uh, seven of the UK national airports. The future of Manston is not in passenger traffic. Right? Yeah. It is not in passenger traffic, right? We may get some passenger traffic, but it's going to be a minor element in the business plan, where this business plan is being put together. A year ago, I went out to Washington in the States, went to a meeting of the Aircraft Recycling Association. There are 11,000 wide-bodied aircraft that are coming to the end of their life in the world. At the moment, there's nowhere for them to go to be recycled, i.e. the engine is taken off, the metal recycled, etc. There's no purpose-built facility in the world. 
Manston is the only place in the UK that has an environment agency license to recycle aircraft. You've seen the aircraft sitting on the ramp, they get broken up. Manston's the only place that's got the approval to do that in the, in the country. It's a unique opportunity. And if we could have the vision to build a purpose-built facility, it's a major revenue stream. The main issue is you can't rely on passenger traffic alone for the survival of this airport. That's the opinion. Do you feel that the uh, failure of the previous and current owners might have been uh, hitched around the fact that they were rel too reliant on passenger tra uh, traffic when perhaps there were other avenues open to them that they didn't explore? It seems to be the case, but I am not knowledgeable too much, obviously, about the you know the internal setup of what they were doing, so I can't really comment on that. Truth be told, um, but it seems to me that they missed. It seems to have, they seem to have missed a major component. What? what the, air, air, uh, the airfield and uh, the airport could do, it seems to be that, um, you know, why aircraft recycling and um, dismantling um, is an up-and-coming thing is because a lot of the aircraft, the 747s um, and jumbo jets and so on, are coming to the end of the life cycle now, and so more and more there is the need to, uh, of large aircraft having to be dismantled safely because, of course, you have many components in the aircraft, some of which you know, are, um, uh, need to be uh, carefully recycled. And the great advantage, the great benefit that Manston has, it has environmental certification to do that, which no other um, airport in the United Kingdom has. So it has this unique advantage. This was actually, um, I think one of the previous owners actually um, did this certification, so perhaps there was this in mind previously. Um, and I think that that is uh, definitely um, the way forward. This is the right moment for this kind of operation at Manston.